Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is giving you a feature rundown of the new and, well, the soon to come out Ubuntu 21.04. We're going to be going over the new features, improvements, changes, what is and is not included, as well as we're going to quickly touch on the Ubuntu installer. They're going to finally come out with a new installer after, I think it's been about 16 years since they've changed that. So I'm going to be showing you a little preview of that that was recently released. Uh, just, just as a note that the installer is like, if there was a level below alpha software, this is what that is. Uh, it's very, very new. It's using the uh, Flutter SDK by Google. So it was kind of a partnership between the Ubuntu team and Google. Show you that real quick right now. Uh, I would show it to, to you on this. This is uh, Ubuntu 21.04, but I couldn't get it to work, so we're going to jump over to Ubuntu 20.04 to kind of show you this real quick. So real quick here, I've jumped into Ubuntu 20.04 just to get this uh, the new installer to work. Like I said, this is as bottom barrel. This is like they just started working on it. Nothing works but it does give us an idea of kind of the direction they're going into. And then with the terminal open, we're gonna run this with the Google API. First, I need to get into the actual uh, directories, and then we will go ahead and do sudo flutter run, sudo being the uh, Google SDK package. So, and I did run it as root. Usually you don't have to, but I was having a hell of a time to get this to actually work. So I ended up having to run a couple different things as sudo to get it to actually work. Um, I don't really recommend actually installing this uh, application because it doesn't do anything. Uh, you can do it like I did in the virtual box just to kind of test it out. So here it is. You can see graphically it's kind of kind of not really doing too hot, but that's just some of the things. They'll fix that. It's, it was not released that long ago, and they don't plan on releasing it until 21.10 at the earliest. So here it is. The first screen is welcome. You go ahead and pick your language, Roko English, and then continue. And here, this is when it kind of looks cool. You have your repair installation screen, try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. This repair installation is going to be really cool because it's going to help a lot of people get in and fix issues. Uh, there's probably going to be tools such as just scanning for various system errors, uh, reinstalling certain packages, updating your system if something went wrong, and maybe they'll include something like a time shift type application so you could go ahead and uh, roll back your system a little bit. Uh, there's Try Ubuntu, which would take you to the desktop. Neither of these buttons work. It's all for looks right now. But if you click Install Ubuntu, which it says Install Ubuntu alongside, alongside or instead of, your current operating system, it shouldn't take too long, continue, and here it will let you choose your keyboard layout, but as you can see, well, before I hit that, typing works, you get the tech keyboard layout, so they got to there, but if I go ahead and hit continue, nothing. So that's about as far as they got, uh, in the right direction, it looks beautiful, and I am really, really excited to see how this turns out in the next couple months. So now with that, I'm actually going to go into the Ubuntu 21.04, talk about some of the features, some of the changes, what is and isn't included. And the very first thing we're going to go ahead and start with is the kernel. Now this is uploaded way before this was released, about a month and a half or so before. And so there might be some changes between this specific daily build and what the actual release is. But generally, it's probably going to be fairly on par because they're getting really, really close to when they need to wrap things up and get this released. So first things first, let's see what uh, kernel they're currently running. Oh, my bad. I think it's uname R. There we go. They're running the 5.10 kernel. They could have done the 5.11. They're probably going to do that with the Ubuntu 21.10. And they're probably going to end up sticking with the 5.10 kernel because it's just getting so close that they're going to need to release something. Speaking of so close, the actual release date for this is going to be April 2nd of 2021 is the official release. Now, one thing I wanted to bring up that isn't included, if we go ahead and go over to about, here is where we can see what version of GNOME we're running. We are running 3.38. This will not include GNOME 40. Kind of sucks because there were there were some uh, pretty good improvements in GNOME 40 versus the uh, the previous version, which this will ship with, including the migration from GTK3 to GTK4, 
a couple different like graphical things like how the Wi-Fi is organized and the icons on taskbars. Just a couple things that kind of wrap up the system and make it beautiful. This will not be included in that, which is unfortunate. But now, just including what isn't included, let's talk about what is included. It is going to have Wayland, the Wayland Display Manager, as the default display manager. And that's kind of a big deal because there are a lot of distributions slowly going from Xorg to Wayland. I'm not going to get too into the specifics because I will be releasing a video going over Wayland and why all these distributions are switching to it. But if you can't wait, there'll be a link in the description kind of talking about that. Another thing that's going to be included is uh, Python. I know that for a fact. Let's see if it's on the system real quick. I think it's just Python. You can type that as the command. Python 3. There you go. Python is now included by default, which is really nice for developers. Uh, that's just one change. It's also going to include LibreOffice 7.1. The uh, dark theme by default is going to be enabled. The uh, It's going to have a new wallpaper. This is the Groovy Gorilla wallpaper, so it doesn't yet include that in the daily builds. The home directories are going to be private, so on your actual home directory, if you are on a different user account, you can go into other people's home directories, snoop around, play around, but by default they will be privated, so you actually have to be logged into that user to access that home directory or the user group to be able to read the files. So that's a good change in the right step towards making your system more secure. And overall, that's really it when it comes to the Ubuntu 21.04 updates. They're the Wayland, they're not going with GNOME 40. Uh, I can see a lot of these bigger updates coming with the, uh, the Ubuntu 21.10 release because that's when they're probably gonna be having the new installer. They're probably gonna be getting GNOME 40. So that, I think, is going to be the actual big release coming up, not this uh, the next one coming up in April. Granted, it is a pretty good release, but if you're on something like uh, 20.04 and your system is running completely fine with no issues, there's not actually a need to do a full system upgrade to 20, 21.04. It's just not necessary, unless if you really, really want that... Uh, new kernel because you're getting new hardware and the kernel isn't going to be supporting what you're getting. Uh, you want the updates, which most of the application updates, such as the LibreOffice, you can get that updated in other means and other repositories, so that's not really needed. Python, you probably already have it on your system. You can install it with a command. New wallpaper, you could get that. So the big differences is the private home directory, the Wayland uh, session by default, and that's really it as far as what has been released and what I can see as I've kind of explored through this over the last couple hours or so. So not a huge release, but if you're somebody who's upgrading, it's not really worth it. But if when this is released and you're downloading Ubuntu, yeah, why not? It's perfectly fine. So I hope you have a great day and goodbye.